Once you have logged into your OJS site, you will be directed to your user home. Dependent upon your role within the site, different options will be available. For an author to begin the submission process, you must click on the author link listed below the journal to which you wish to submit. Once you have selected author, you will be redirected to the active submissions page. Here you will see the ID number of each submission, the date submitted, the section to which it was submitted, the author or authors, the title of the piece, and the status of the submission. To create a new submission, select Click Here, listed at the bottom of the screen. You will be brought to the first of five pages in the submission process. To begin, select the appropriate section for submission via the drop-down menu. You must then confirm and check every box included within the submission checklist. You are then given the option to leave comments for the editor, which is entirely at each author's discretion. Make sure you click Save and Continue. You will then be directed to the second page in the submission process, Entering Metadata. Proceed to enter your basic information. Note that only first name, last name, and email are required in the first section, though you are given the option to include more detailed information. You must then enter a title, which may be different from the title of the uploaded file, and an abstract for the article, followed by your selection of the appropriate language and an acknowledgement of any supporting agencies. Once this information has been completed, select Save and Continue. You will next be directed to the third page in the submission process. Here, simple directions are given on how to upload a piece to a particular journal. Once you have read through these instructions, select the Browse button. This will enable you to browse the files on your computer. Once you have done so, select the appropriate file, click Open, and your chosen file will appear next to the Browse button. Then, click Upload. Once you have done so, the page will automatically refresh itself. Under Submission File, you will now see the file name, original file name, file size, and date uploaded. Please note, to submit another article, you will need to begin this process again from the start. Once you have completed these steps, click Save and Continue. You will now come to the fourth page in the submission process. Here, you are given the option of uploading supplementary files, which may include tables, sources, datasets, and the like. The same process to upload a submission is used to upload supplementary files. Regardless of if you do or do not have supplementary files, be sure to select Save and Continue once you are finished with this page. Finally, you will arrive at the last page of the submission process. You will see the basic information of your uploaded file listed again. If you wish to check over or make any changes to your submission, you may do so at any time during the submission process by selecting the respective page you wish to return to using the listings at the top of the page. It is important to note that once you select Finish Submission from the fifth page, you can only edit the metadata of your submission or upload supplementary files if you did not do so originally. Alternatively, if you are completely satisfied with your piece, select Finish Submission. You will then be redirected to the Active Submissions page and thanked for your submission. You may then click on Active Submissions, which will reload the page and list Active Submissions, including the article you just submitted. The status will be listed as a waiting assignment as an editor has not yet been assigned to your submission. You may also view the basic information for your submission by selecting the title of the article. You will now be directed to a summary of your piece.